Hey fam, welcome back to another video. Before we get into any of the gaming today, I just gotta say thank you all so much for subbing to the channel. This is the closest we've been to a thousand. We're at 913 subs. I challenge y'all, let's get to a thousand. We can do it. If y'all spread the word just a little bit, one person hooks up one person, boom, we're at a thousand in no time. And then we will get to do our next big giveaway. And then y'all will just like poof, floor me. And uh, my birthday is coming up in August, so you know, a birthday present for your boy. <laughs> but yeah, so today we're going to be playing uh, Senua Saga Hellblade Numero Dos. Uh, came out, I believe, this week, earlier in the week. It either came out this week or last week, and I wanted to check it out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to minimize my big old fat noggin over here. Um, and then... Uh, Spoiler alert, but here I'll show y'all. So see right there. Uh, this is another game that'll probably be on the channel. Um, the Multiverses. It was another game that died, disappeared, and they rot, rot. <laughs> they brought back from the ashes. And supposedly it was just like a, it was in beta, but there was no beta. They lied. But yeah. So as you can see, this is what I'm gonna hit. So I know nothing. So. Let's hit a recap and watch some story real quick. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Okay. And yeah, we will watch the recap. Senua. Since... Senua. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother, Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Yeah, that's probably what I do too, damn. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her, banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away she took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, Damn. and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. Hmm? But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Hmm. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Yeah, you're going up against a literal god. What Once again, was going Senua to? was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion. Until Dillion's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind, and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, 
resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries until she found her prize before the guardian of hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. Wasn't expecting that much brightness blinded the hell out of me, yo. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. All right, all right. Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on. So that there take us monolith with her. is like our entire story from the first game. Like I said, it was a, this is a sequel. And I'm guessing from that recap, it's a direct sequel. So wherever it left off there, that's where we picking up. That was pretty cool. I liked it. It would it could have been cool if there was a little bit more visuals other than just like showing pictures and like him narrating. But you know, all right. All right so we got some focus sprint. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna play the game like a beast. All right, let's see. let's get a little. Eh, maybe I'll stay down here for a minute. We'll. Increase size after. Do I know you? I don't know. It's been a long Do time. She made a promise to the one she loved. Dead now. But no less. A promise. Not one soul more would suffer as he had. She carries him in her heart. His death. His life. Will drive her on. She will forge a purpose from his death, make meaning from the pain. And then the Northmen came again to our land, stripping us of our names, our lives, of everything that makes us who we are, beating and binding, taking us as slaves. These Northmen sail under a blood red sign. And one among them they call Master. It's weird, this kind of has a lot of similarities to a certain no uh, god of that war. <laughs> wink, wink. She let herself be taken, dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source, find the heart, and cut it out. Stop the slavers. Keep her promise. But plans can drift off course. Alright, so our boat went kaputski. We be sh sinking into the water, into the depths of the sea. It begins as it ends. Alone in the dark. Go, go, go. Okay. I might listen to 
So the guy died trying to kill me. What a dummy. Why don't you just leave me the hell alone and try to help yourself as well? Selfish. Oh, looks like we've made it to land, which is a good thing. Even when you're pulled by forces, dear. Xbox Game Studios. Can't stop you cold. A dream has foundered with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by and find the next sign. Alright, after 11 minutes of story, I can move. Made by Ninja Theory. Oh, dang. That looks good. Holy detail. Come on, you can do it, girl. Push yourself to the limit. Melina, we are again. It's weird, I'm trying to figure out if I'm Celtic, Norse. Come here, child. I am that dude's voice out of sick. It pushes back. Yeah. She's so far from home. Um, from all she's ever known. Chris O'Reilly. Lost yeah. in a world. Maybe it's so Celtic. Bowed it to her eyes. Maybe. When she won't yield, she must fight on. As she always has. Remember, we've been to hell before. Gudmundur Thorvaldsen. Look, there it is. This is only the beginning, my Sandra. <laughs> Climb again. She will fall if she does. She will die. Climb, Sandra. Climb, Climb. 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 She's hurt. So tired. She's going to fall. No. Careful, Senua. Damn, dude. Homegirl's like freaking Gollum for real. Just a bunch of voices in his head. You got the Gollum. He's got the precious. And then start reads to stop, dude. Oh, okay, my voice is usually pretty good for that. Mm, just not right now, okay? Come on, climb. I'm too focused. She's too exhausted. Exhausted. It's too much. Even hotly. Don't look down. Don't let the fear get to you. Abby Greenman. I hope I ain't like mispronouncing any of these names because if I am, that's embarrassing. She falter. The voices draw her on. She but chunk. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not see. We're almost there, Sinua. She can hear Come them on. calling. You can do it. Lives stolen by the Northmen. 
She carries them with her. Those damn swords. Those takes in our precious. Our precious. That's a little better. Little. She is afraid, exhausted. Nora Lopez hold Press, but I do not need photo mode. This game does look so crispy. With fear, but she won't stop. Stronger forces drive her on. All right. Well, I know the gameplay wasn't super <laughs> engaging, but hopefully, maybe the story caught your guys' uh, attention. If you want me to keep going and see where this game could lead off to, let me know. I just. I'm wanting to play stuff that's more engaging. Like, as cool as Avatar is and as beautiful as the game looks. It's one of those big open worlds, so it's like I could spend most of a video just running to nowhere. And yes, I could edit out like the running and all that, and it's just like make it more streamlined. But I'm not a big fan of cutting out content, so if I'm going to record stuff, it's going to be from when I start to when I decide to end the video, and you're going to see everything I do. So I don't know if I'm, I think I might still go back into it. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, um, thank you. Here, let me make myself a little bigger so y'all can. CB. <laughs> thank you all so much and again thank you to all the new subs again 913 subs I think the most I've had is 912 and we're this close to a thousand so thank you all for the new subs I love y'all love all my old people not old that sounds horrible my veterans my OGs I love y'all peace out